All right, this is my CNC machine when I first got it to table mount. Everything was on there. I had a lot of clutter. I uh, was learning about vacuum. Uh, I was learning what I needed to change. Uh, I learned about the X and Y point and why a parallel board was nice and straight and a flat surface was needed. And so I was learning through that curve. Also learned about having various collets so that I could keep the heat down when I'm changing blades. Learned about putting in a waste board sacrificial waste board so I can just pop it out put in a new one and uh, it just made the projects a lot cleaner learned that I needed a uh, foam board a foam box that fit over the top of it learned a lot about the box joint gadget uh, made all, all kinds of little boxes that fit underneath my DeWalt tables keep all my different things stored in um, these quarter inch box joints are really tight and they're very precise I learned about tiling and why I didn't want to break those box joints across those tiles. Started using some acrylic, uh, some Lexan, and to see how these would work and uh, how to mill the acrylic. And it worked really well. It was uh, funny. Uh, that stuff is expensive, but uh, it was kind of fun. Did a photo carve and then he wanted a bigger one. So we made that one and enjoyed that. Glued up some cedar, put our FCF pledge on there and uh, I put that together, made a hawk target, another box to put in a camping fan. The cardboard box was gone, so I'm just putting some scraps to, to good use and enjoying that. Put a little hardware on it and painted it gray. And I took this, this sign here and got the old black paint out and give it a good coat, let it dry, and then sanded it down and came out really pretty. Uh, here's a box joint jig and some of the tools that I have in the shop. Uh, put a little coat of paint and gray primer over that wooden box and it's just utility box. There's my Hawk target um, trying to see how that works out and again there's the box painted with the box joints on it. The uh, uh, made a smaller box put the grease gun in the, the, the lithium grease for the CNC machine and put that in that's a view into the CNC machine to the window that's a controller for the CNC machine shark uh, there's a box, another box. I probably made oh, 15 boxes now, so I'm getting the hang of it, and uh, they're coming out really nice. This is the sign uh, after it was sanded off and finished coat put on. We're going to hang that in our Royal Ranger room. This is a small box that I'm using to put a big long screwdriver in just to protect it, mounted up on the CNC machine. And uh, after a while, you get to where you don't make any more mistakes with this stuff, and, and uh, the learning curve's good. Uh, put some uh, dust collection on the bottom of my table saw so that I can easily hook up the hose. Made some drill caddy holders for the side of the CNC machine. And there's again the controller that controls it. And there's my screwdriver box. And I hope you enjoyed this short video and organization of the CNC machine.